eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Hey guys, Julian here. Got a healthy snack. Let me give God the glory and we'll get started. Father God, I give you all the glory for dreams, visions, words of knowledge, and for your word, Lord, what we're diving into today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. I ask that you take this video to those that need to see it. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we ask. Amen. Amen. Guys, I'm bringing to you Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. Get your Bibles. Put me on pause. Go get your Bibles. Follow along with me. It's so good. So good. Amen. So, so in verse 46 is where we're going to start. This is Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Now they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great multitude, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then in verse 48, many warned, warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. In verse 49, so Jesus still stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man saying to him, be of good cheer, rise, he is calling you. And throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabbani, that I may receive my sight. In verse 52, Jesus, then Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he was received. His sight followed Jesus on the road. So guys, I want to dig down deeper into this verse. Let's go into and hear what the Spirit is saying to us. So now they came to Jericho. Okay, there's been a lot of things happen at Jericho. All the way back to Joshua, we, they marched around Jer Jericho seven times and the walls came falling down, right? So what the Lord, the Holy Spirit is speaking to me about this, this scripture right here, verse 46 and, and verse 47 is there's a lot of spiritual warfare going on here. And this is what's happening with blind Bartimaeus. He's got spiritual warfare going on. And, and he's being held to ransom by a demonic spirit. It's got his eyes. It's, it's blinding him. But when he heard that Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Guys, verse 47, blind Bartimaeus was a believer. He was a believer. How many believers out there are blind? Do you see what I'm saying? How many believers are blind right now? They're blinded to what's going on in the world. They're blinded that judgment is just approaching. Then many warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Who are these people that warned him to be quiet? So what we see is even today, many of the followers are shutting down those that are getting revelation from God. And to me, which is verse 48, they warned, many warned him to be quiet. So he was, he was prophesying Jesus, son of David, have mercy. He knew, he believed that Jesus was the son of David. That that perhaps he was the Christ. It doesn't say that, but I believe he, somehow he knew. He believed. And many are getting revelation this day, and, and the, the people in the church are shutting them down. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And then they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good cheer. Rise, he is calling you. Many of you hearing my voice right now, are called by God. You don't see it because you're blind. You're blind to what's going on around you. You're blind to believing that, could this be for me? Is God calling me? Do you understand me, brothers and sisters? God's calling you, but many of you are blind to see it. But be of good cheer. 
my brother or my sister. God is calling you. And then in verse 50, he said, he threw away, he, he throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. What is that garment? That garment is, is the same garment that it's talked about in Matthew 9, 16. It says, no one puts a piece of untrunk cloth on an old garment for the patch pulls away from the garment and the tear is made worse. Guys, blind Bartimaeus is throwing off his old garment. He wants to be filled with that new wine. Do you see it? You got to get rid of that old garment and blind Bartimaeus tossed it off because he was getting ready to get something new. He was getting ready to get something white, fresh and exciting. <laughs> so Jesus answered and said to him, what do you want me to do for you? Many of you need to knock and ask, knock and ask. But here's the key part coming up. Ready? So as Jesus answered him and said to him, what, uh, what do you want me to do? And the blind man said, Rob and I, that I may receive my sight. Many of you are asking for that. You're asking for your sight. But Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight. Guys, you just have to step out in faith. That's what blind Bartimaeus did. He stepped off out of the places where the bystanders and the other followers commanded him not to step out from. But he stepped out in faith. He called out. He called on Jesus in faith. He believed on Jesus in faith. Do you see? Do you see it? Guys, when you read the Bible, try to try to read in the spirit. See what the behind that the back message is. Hey guys, I love you guys very much. This is Julian out. Oh